Scott Lesnick is awesome. Very easy to relate to. Scott is amazing. I thought it was wonderful. It came from the heart. I felt like there was lots of information that we could actually take back to the office and implement today. He finds a way to connect those personal stories in his lives to the, the things that are happening in the lives of the people in the audience. I loved the finding your strength, your true strength. It was great. Thank you so much for coming to our conference. What he went through and how to deal with stress. Show people not to give up. Strong subject with a little humor. He's everything you want in a motivational speaker. And he has a message that really everyone can relate to. His story is moving and it's captivating and I could not recommend him more. What would you do? If, if, if you woke up one morning and just rolled out of bed and those most precious to you in the whole world were gone. These are my kids, Jonathan and Alexandra. He's almost five years old, Allie is almost three. They were, they were kidnapped, Jonathan and Allie, and they were taken to the Middle East by the person I trusted most, their mother, my wife, Lisa. I was ashamed. I was angry. I felt humiliated, I felt all sorts of things, and opening up to other people wasn't something I wanted to do. There was no warning, there was no note, and there were no kids. But my immediate problem, besides the children being half a world away, is that my stress level was way up here. Now you understand stress. And I had to get my stress level down if I was gonna have a chance of reuniting with Jonathan and Allie. I spoke to local, state, and federal officials, and none of them could help me. And by the way, attorneys that I talked to all over the country, they soberly reminded me that because Israel hadn't signed this important document called the Hague Convention on International Aspects of Child Abduction, Lisa was under, under no obligation to return our children to America ever. But we've all had some heart-wrenching events, something in our lives that's just rocked our world to the core. What is it that you have had to survive? Maybe it was the death of a loved one or a relationship that was once really close but isn't anymore. And perhaps you or somebody you care for deeply received a diagnosis from a doctor that they, they, really, they really didn't want to hear. Now my ability to find my true strength, it came as I was talking to other people and listening to what they had to say. And that's the beginning of my journey in trying to figure out how I was gonna get my kids home and how I was gonna stay sane. So I had to come up with some ways to reduce stress and keep my act together. This is what I did, but it wasn't really me, it was just things I learned. And the reason I'm sharing these today is our lives are different, but we've all had struggles. We've all had to go through things and I want you to understand what it is I did because maybe there's a nugget, something in there that'll help you with your business, that'll help you with the kids, that'll help you in your personal life. Okay, four months have passed since I've seen my kids, 120 days, I had to, 2,880 hours and trust me, it's a lot of minutes. Lisa finally began speaking to me, which was huge. I couldn't believe it. Did she? Did she get the cards I sent her? Yeah. Did she get the flowers I sent her? Absolutely. Did she get the exploding pinata? I... <laughs> People were incredibly willing to help me. I had a friend, I, well, I still have, her name's Coco. And Coco and I were having breakfast one morning and we had some coffee and, and some eggs and we're at a restaurant. And after about 15 minutes, she just took her hands and she slammed them on the table loud enough that everybody around us could see. And I'm just kind of already weak. And I'm like, what's going on? She goes, okay, Scotty, I've had it. I am so upset with what's going on in your life. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna find some mercenaries <laughs> and you're gonna hire them and you're gonna pay them whatever they want. And you're going to fly to Israel and you're going to find your children. You're going to get them back on a jet plane and you're going to bring them home to America. Do you understand? And I just looked at Coco and I, I said, yeah, yeah, I do understand. If I try to do what she suggests and I get caught, <laughs> a lifetime in a Middle Eastern jail would really stink. I thought, wait a minute, I've got to stay alive if I'm going to help my kids. I need to stay in one piece. But isn't it interesting how sometimes when we are going through 
the most difficult challenges in our life, be they professional or personal, that we find this incredible vast reserve of strength we never knew we had, it's wonderful. I call it finding your true strength. How about you? Do you sometimes say, I'm gonna take care of that challenge one day. I'm gonna make that happen one day. Someday I'm gonna make that occur when someday isn't even a day of the week. Or do you look for reasons, answers, and solutions and get into the game? Get I recently hired him to speak to a group of sales professionals at a national sales meeting and he just, he rocked it. He lit up the room, he's inspiring, he's motivating. I'm thrilled that we got Scott at our event and if anybody's even considering him, I think they should go for it. He is truly a professional.